Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is Tuesday of the first week of Advent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church in the greater of the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, come let, let us worship the Lord, the King, the King who is to come. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let, come, us, let worship us worship the Lord, the, Lord, the, the King, King who is to come. come. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Go within His gates giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let come us let worship, worship the Lord, the, Lord, the King, King who is to come. come. Please be seated. The man whose teeth are blameless, and whose heart is pure, will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples, it is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in His holy place, the man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires no worthless things, who has not sown so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek Him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, go higher and send doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, go higher and send doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God, who lives forever, because His kingdom lasts for all ages. For His gorgeous and then has mercy, He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and He brings up from the great abyss, no one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though he is his culture of you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scorched you from your iniquities, but will you again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles, among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and bless him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, 
and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven, that all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a thanks to you, if sing with him, or sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprang into being. He fosters with his sons of the nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own descent shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes, on all the dwellers on the earth. He who saves the hearts of them all, and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who fear him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their soul from the death, and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions and in our trials. Grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie, lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together, with the little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors, together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox, the baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the other's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice will flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. Our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are your eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit it. Napansin nyo ba? Nahalata nyo ba doon sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo na tuwang-tuwa ang ating Panginoon. Joy is uh, overflowing in Him. Bakit ka mo? Uh, we will understand this if we also understand the context of the Gospel that we read. It's part of the return of the 72 that was sent to preach, that was sent to heal those who were sent to proclaim the kingdom. And uh, when they returned, they were telling stories of how they made those who cannot walk, they walk, those who cannot see, they can now see, they were able to proclaim the kingdom. In other words, they were able to fulfill what the Lord has asked them to do. And because of that, Jesus must have seen the joy, must have seen the, the happiness in uh, 
the disciples who returned that he too was joyful. Masaya siya sa success ng kanyang mga sinugo. I think this is something that is very good for all those who occupy positions of power or those who are in authority. And we know very much that positions do not last. Being in authority is only time-bound, only for a while. My term of office, it ends. Kaya nga ang magandang tanong, after we have returned and accomplished, hopefully, things that were entrusted to us, will we hear the same Jesus joyful when we say that we have already done what you have asked us to do? We have already finished what you have asked us to accomplish. Meron din kayang ganung joy. At yung joy na yun, authentic ha? At yung joy ng ating Panginoon ay uh, totoo, genuine. Bakit ka mo? Sapagat only authentic joy can lead to gratitude. Di ba? Nagpasalamat to the Father. Father, thank you very much for giving this to this 72 that before I sent them, ito'y mga napagpupulot ko lang dyan sa tabi-tabi. Wala. Walang gaanong alam. But because of your grace, things were made possible. And look at them now. They come back. They're telling stories of wonder, of how they accomplished things. And it is very clear, it's not just from them. It's all about you. Kaya nga naman doon sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo, ano yung pananalita ng Panginoon? Thank you, Father, for you have granted this to them. What you kept from the powerful, what you kept from those who have the riches, what you kept from even the learned, you have given the grace to the 72 that I sent. And for that, maraming salamat. Gratitude. Kaya nga, wala namang nagpapasalamat na nakasimangot, di ba? Alam mo na, totoo yung, yung, yung joy, na totoo yung gratitude kapag katawag nito eh, magaan sa kalooban. And hindi mapagsidlang tuwa siguro ang ating Panginoon sa ating binasang Ibanghelyo because those who have returned have been successful in the task that were given to them. Gratitude. Ah, pasalamat eh. Pangalawa, bakit ito authentic? Bakit ito genuine? Sapagkat napapadasal. Ano yung conversation ng ating Panginoon sa ating, uh, sa ating ama? It's, it's a prayerful conversation. Thank you. It's a recognition that all of this would come from you. All the graces would come from you. Kaya nga andoon yung prayer of gratitude. Thanksgiving prayer. O dito na lang sa Minor Basilica, ang dami-dami nagpapadasal. Ang dami-dami nagtitext, nagme-message. No? And then when we learn, when we hear of how the prayer turned out, sometimes, o maraming pagkakataon, granted. Sometimes naman, hindi pag-aanong granted. Sometimes naman, kahit na hindi nag-grant, but they were given the time to heal, for example, and they're still grateful. And when we learn about it, no, we, did not, we do not take it as our own because we realize that we were only instruments. It's all about Jesus and it's all about the intercession of the Blessed Mother. Kaya may joy eh. Nakakatuwa na mapakinggan that when people come here, they would encounter God. At napapadasal ka. Minsan nga napapadasal ka kahit na hindi maganda yung nangyayari, di ba? Kapag ka merong hindi magandang nangyayari sa pamilya, sa sarili, may sakit, nawala ng trabaho, anong sabi mo? Diyos ko po. Yan. Ay, hindi lang tayo napapasabi ng Diyos ko po kapag ka ganoon. Here in the gospel that we read today, in times of joy, in times of happiness, in times of success, when God is working in us, we will also say, thank you, Lord, for all the graces that we have received. It's not about me. It's all about the grace that you have given to me. 
Hindi, friends, ang gandang lesson sa ating lahat because at the end of the day, I know you too, our parents, you too, some of you occupy a position of power, big or small, it doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, the question for us is, will the Lord have the same joy, have the same happiness when at the end of the day we say, Lord, natapos ko po. And you will hear, thank you, Father, for what you have kept from the learned, from the powerful, you have given, you have allowed that grace to work in this person. So I invite all those who, have, uh, who are in position of power, in a position of authority, that always look at the end of your term, at the end of your position, at the end of your tenure, ang laging measurement natin, natuwa ba ang ating Panginoon doon sa pagkakataong binigay sa iyo para manilbihan. Kindly all stand. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God, who shows such love for the small and weak people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. And let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who serve the church as bishops, priests, and ministers may proclaim God's kindness and love, especially to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civil leaders may give attention to the needs of the humble citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we, whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond Pinafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees, and pilgrims of the Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may also respond to his guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of his peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please visit it. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and our angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory us without end we acclaim. by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, 
Fidelis, our auxiliary bishop, Gerard the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Through the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, how blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and body. Everlasting life.
From the root of Jesse, a flower will blossom. The glory of the Lord will fill the earth, and all creation shall see the saving power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant, David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that, that He, he would, would save us from our enemies, from, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From, from the root of Jesse, a flower will blossom, the glory of the Lord will fill the earth, and all creation shall see the saving power of God. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, we may teach us, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa Banal na Misa. And patuloy po kayo makakaasa ng uh, aming mga panalangin uh, para po sa inyo, sa mga diboto ng mahal na ina ng Manawag. At may we also continue to pray for one another. And may the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord to one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing po ng mga may sakit. Andito, nasa bahay, nasa ospital, relatives and friends, we pray for them. And then this is to be followed by the prayer po para sa blessing ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now bless your religious articles. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.